Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from CloudTech. Today I will talk about how we can change the host name of a particular EC2 instance. Okay guys. So for that, uh, let me launch one EC2 instance uh, for this demo. Okay. I have already logged in, in AWS console and I am in Oregon region. Okay. Let's uh, move to Virginia region here and let's launch one EC2 instance here. Launch instance. Let's select the default Amazon AMI and let's select the T2 micro since I am in free tires. And guys, keep in mind this point while you are launching issue to instance. If you are in free tires, then always check this in AMI is eligible for free tires or not. So, okay, let's select that. Key pair here. If you don't have, then click on create new key pair and you can create. Okay. And networking, select that. I have already one security group. So let's select that. And if you don't have, then you can create a new security group. Let's launch this for instance. Okay. Instance is ready here. So it is in pending. Just wait. Two minutes it will be uh, deployed okay now it is running state let's connect this ec2 instance okay guys so let's go to the mobile extreme and click on new ssh and give that and select the ec2 user settings and use the private key okay guys and if you don't know which what is the user for this particular two ssh let's uh, let me show you that go to here let's click on connect and let's click on ssh then you will be able to see what is the user of the particular instance okay guys and what the key should be used okay guys so by using that also you can do okay so let's connect this issue to instance now we have connected here let's switch to super user here Change the host name, guys. Keep in mind we have already host name file, host file. So uh, here two point. Keep in mind, uh, like there are two things. If you go cd etc, right? See here in this directory. If you see here, lot of things is there, right? But if you go see like uh, at etc, sorry. If you see here, right, host name CTL is there, host name is there, host one file is there, okay, guys. So keep in mind, like, uh, let me show you otherwise, bi host, host. Also, host one file is there, where all this mapping will be there. What this, so keep in mind, host and host this all file, and this host name CTL, if you just hit this command. Then it will show you like what the host name of the particular is it instance now. So static host name and iconic host name and virtual machine operating system architecture hardware everything. Even by using host name status, if sometimes this command will be not there, if this command is not there, then you can just uh, either you can update this package or you can install that uh, system CTL like this is the command to install. If you are in that Linux, then uh, CentOS, then yum update install system md or if you some other operating system then use this uh, install this command and you can check that host name status also and i was talking about host file right host file guys keep in mind host file and host name file totally different host file basically will contain the number of host name ip address mapping basically like local host to some other dns if you would like to map that purpose we can use host like something like that this is my ip address the, uh, this is my DNS name localhost something like that we can map if you want to map then you can use the host but uh, today's agenda is how we can change the host name not the host file okay guys that point keep in mind so modify that what we can do either we can go to directly this host name uh, like you can do the vi and here if you do vi here we can see our ip address is the host name this is the one command directly you can change here 
or another command is hostname ctl that uh, you can change like hostname ctl set hostname then what hostname you would like to set okay guys then my hostname or my hostname transition or maybe you want to uh, something else then then you can change the pretty hostname okay guys these are the comments so if you want only your like a uh, hostname like uh, not a strong uh, static or transient then you just simply pass this comment and if you want specified to strong uh, static also you can specify or transient also you can specify okay guys so let me show you by using this command how you can change this hostname ctl set hostname right if you change this one let me show you that now hostname content our ip address okay this is the IP address, okay. And if you just simply type also here host, it will show you the what the our hostname. This is our hostname, okay, guys. And if you just type hostname here also cat, then also it will both are same, okay. Now let us change that hostname. How we can change? So change in uh, we can change by hostname CTL, okay. So let's hostname CTL set. And then we can say like this is now. Let us check the hostname comment here. Now our hostname got changed, right? So something like that we can change, and or like by using home uh, like a hostname CTL also we can change. But still here it is the IP address, right? So we need to restart this uh, VM. Or else, what we can do directly, we can go to VI and then we can go to the hostname file and then you can modify the hostname here. Suppose I want to add here something else. So, demo hostname will get changed. Now, see now hostname because it's not reflected, right? Why? Because if you are using uh, like a hostname CTL, then it will reflect, right? But if we are using VI command, then we have to reboot that. So let's reboot this system. If you reboot like uh, then here you can watch that it is restarting. Sometime to come up. Okay. So let's just wait. It is taking time. Just wait for some time. Right. So now type hostname here and uh, we have to switch to super user otherwise now it is showing here right but if you want to set the hostname right switch to host name ctl set suppose this is like a, I can say like a app server okay you cannot access why because you have to switch to super user this permission issue will come okay guys keep in mind why because let me show you that it is host name if you see this file have the permission root user okay so that's why we are not able to modify so that's why we need to switch to super user once you switch super user then you can able to modify this host name let me show you that see app server that's all this is how we can change the host name of a particular issue to instance so i hope this session will helpful to you guys and if you feel this video is valuable to you guys then please like and subscribe my channel that will really inspire to me and please share surrounding with your friends so that will help to me okay guys see you in my next video Chalo, bye